in this video I am going to show you how to do a mesh convergence and I will be using case study one which is a basic 1D heat transfer problem where on the left side we're setting a temperature and everything else is insulated so the temperature will flow from left to right and so to do a mesh convergence you will right click under global definitions and add parameters and we're going to define a variable called Ellum. You can name it anything you would like, it doesn't matter as long as you're consistent later. And so we're going to look at the number of elements on this bottom side. And so the default is 50 in the problem. So we're going to go to, to our distribution 2 and we're going to replace this, this 50 with whatever variable you named. So in the original, if you named it something else, just Ellum, you would type Ellum here. So whatever parameter value here is will be plugged in here. Okay. So to do a parametric sweep on the number of elements from the left to right side, we're not interested in the top or the left or right side because it's a 1D heat problem from left to right. So we're going to right click on study 1 and we're going to do a parametric sweep because we're going to sweep over different mesh sizes. So we're going to click on this blue arrow, this blue plus sign for add and you're going to see elms pop up. So whatever variable name you popped up, you type will show here. So if you have a list of three or four more variables, they'll show up in this list and you can pick whatever you would like. So for this problem, we're going to choose 12, 25, 50, and 100. And from this, we're going to see the, the effect of different mesh sizes on the solution. So now we're going to right click on study one and click compute. And then you should look under press because you're going to see console solve through each element size. So here's 12, here's 25, and the second row is the time solver. So here's 50, and it's going to go from 0 to 180 seconds. And then the parametric sweep will do the last one, 100, and go from 0 to 180. Okay, so now what happens is console forms a second solution, your parametric solution. Originally you just had the cut point 2D1 and the solution 1, and now you have solution 2, which is your parametric sweep. And you can actually see under the solution 2 that says parametric 2. And we're going to look at the temperature at that one point you originally did. So we're going to change the data set for cut point 2D1 to the parametric solution, solution 2. And then you're going to go to your 1D plot group. And what's going to appear is four curves. Three overlap, and the really bad one is 12. But we want to see that, make sure that's actually 12. So we're going to go to the point graph underneath it. And at the very bottom, you'll see legends. You did this in your case study 3. So this should be familiar, and you're going to click Show Legends. But here, your legend is interfering with your plot. So now we're going to go back to the plot group, actually. We're going to go to Legend, and we're going to change the location. Upper left, or we can do lower right, for example. So I'm just going to choose upper left. And what you see is now the mesh with only 12 elements is the worst and creates an unphysical solution where the temperature somehow goes down. And then you'll see that 25, 50, and 100 overlap. And so what you can conclude then is your mesh converged at 25, and that 50 is essentially unnecessary. So that concludes how to do a mesh convergence using a parametric sweep. Thank you.